Hi, this is JB from Know the Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another Marvel Champions LCG playthrough. And this time I am testing a deck I found on marvelcdb.com and it is uh, Vision Protection. I am playing against Sandman on Expert Difficulty. So this is my first uh, playthrough of the Sinister Motives. Uh, villains on expert difficulty so we'll see how that goes um, I thought of playing vision a while ago but then life got in the way but now I thought that I would try a constructed deck with vision and see how vision functions after uh, dismantling the not so good um, pre-built deck but We'll see, so let's hop over to marvelcdb.com and see what the deck is all about. Okay, and we are on marvelcdb.com and this deck is no defending energy barrier tank uh, vision. So the main point of this deck is to build up your uh, retaliates with uh, Dauntless. You can have this in play and have uh, have taken no damage, so you have uh, your max health or more health left, so you can retaliate one. Also, uh, Vision's Cloak. Let's see if I... Where is it? Mm. Oh yeah, uh, so a Vision's Cape, I mean. So this also gives you retaliate when you're in dense. Uh, mass form, so you have retaliate 2, then of course energy barriers times 3, so you build up these and then just watch <laughs> while the uh, villain tries to hit you and will melt away with all the retaliates and air energy barrier deflections. Then there are not that many allies, only Clea, uh, Starhawk and Vivian, so Clea will uh, maybe just uh, jump block or something like that and just reoccur from your deck and uh, yeah basically uh, then Starhawk uh, Starhawk also uh, reoccurs if you take damage and take uh, exactly equal to his remaining hit points damage you get him back into your hand so you are uh, reoccurring these two allies all the time then there are some uh, ways to heal in uh, hero form if you need to get back to the Dauntless level. Uh, well, for first there is Endurance to boost your health uh, over your uh, maximum health. So also Momentum Shifts are good ways to heal 2 damage uh, on your hero and deal 2 damage on a, to an enemy. So these are really good to keep the Dauntless going. Other than that, it's Pretty straightforward. There are some newer cards like uh, from the drag set subdue, which will lower the enemy's attack value, so you won't take that much damage. And uh, of course, Vision himself has the uh, intangible uh, mass form, so in that you reduce all damage taken by two, so uh, you don't even have to defeat minions that hit less than that but we'll see how this goes so that is all i wanted to talk about the deck i'll put the deck list into the video description if you want to check the deck out and try it for yourself so we have set up the scenario here uh, sandman on expert difficulty we start with phase two that means we still need to uh, do the when revealed effect so we have to resolve the search in Sans ability on city streets once before we even start. But uh, that is basically it. Um, let's see how this goes, so let's get started. Okay, so we are ready to start, so let's flip this over. And then we still need to do the Searching Sands ability. So Searching Sands, as a reminder, on City Street is special. Place one sand counter here, discard cards from the top of the encounter deck, equal to the number of sand counters here. 
and hero action, exhaust the character you control, remove sand counters from here, equal to that character's attack, limit once per round per player. So we need to mind those sand counters also, so we resolve it by adding one, discarding five cards, so one, two, three, four, five. Okay, now we are ready to begin, so I have shuffled both of the decks, so I'll just draw my open hand. And we are starting in intangible form, so we have a plus one hand side, so we take six cards at the beginning. Uh, we get Genius, Super Dense Strike, Just Passing Through, Wing Carrier, Vision Scape, and Power of Protection. So I think we are building up, heading to uh, Hero Form, and uh, starting to remove some of the uh, Sand Counters at the start. So. Now we can't yet play the Queen Carrier because we are in Alter Ego and we don't have the Adventure traits. Uh, Vision Scape we really want to get into play, so let's see. I have three cards for uh, Queen Carrier and Genius for Vision Scape, so I think we are just going to head over to Hero Form, play the Queen Carrier. I'm using these three. Then uh, we will change to dense form at the start. So we draw a card. We get uh, 616 Hickory Branch Lane. So we can play that actually with the Queen Carrier. Then we'll play Vision Scape. So that is, uh, well, this is just a buffer to protect the Queen Carrier from all the cards that remove an up upgrade or, or support. Uh, exhaust this card, search your deck and discard pile for an Android ally and add it to your hand shuffle. So we can also search for Vivian with that. We don't have any other uh, Android allies yet uh, or at all in the deck. And now because we're in dense mass form we can retaliate. So we already have the retaliate form. Then I won't attack or Ward, I will remove two sand counters from here. And that is all I can do. I'll ready up. I draw back up to five. We get a perseverance, energy barrier, subdue, power of protection, and just passing through. So a decent hand for next turn. Then uh, Let's see, we will go to the villain phase, we add one threat to the main scheme, uh, Sandman attacks, and let's see, do I have any way, I have the subdue, so I will actually play the subdue, so let's think about it, we want to save uh, the power of protection for the energy barrier, we want to play perseverance maybe next round, but I think we can't. Oh, oh, we can, because we have that. So, I'm using the Queen Carrier to play the Subdue. Okay, let's do that. I will also defend. This is because I don't want to get any more sand counters yet. So, I have a defense of two. Also, uh, the... Villain has a minus three attack, so zero against two, and it's a zero. We don't take any damage, and we retaliate one. So that was a good one. One then mm, we'll draw an encounter card, and it is sand smash. Uh, Sandman attacks you with plus one attack, so this unfortunately will hurt us. Uh, we don't have any way to prevent that. And uh, yeah, so uh, let's see, uh, four plus zero, so we take four damage, but we also retaliate for one, and that is it. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. And before I forget, uh, Sandman dealt damage to us, so I'll add one. I resolve the. Uh, 
searching sense ability because we took damage. So we add one and uh, discard four. Okay, so now we are back on track. So, uh, let's see, we'll play the energy barrier with the power of protection. And we will change form to intangible form and I will play the perseverance. So now we don't have a retaliate but we have stalwart so we can't get stunned or anything like that. So I'm actually doing this so uh, I will shift these tokens depending on the form I'm in from the card. So uh, let's see. Yeah we got the toughness also from the perseverance because we changed forms. And that is uh, all I can do. I'll ready up. I'll draw back up to 5. We get Vivian, mass increase and uh, subdue and double well energy and strength. So a bit over uh, resourced but it is what it is. Uh, sometimes you pull all the resource cards and nothing to play them with them. So we'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the scheme. Sandman attacks. I'll use the queen carrier again to play subdue. And uh, now uh, Sandman needs to deal 5 damage so to, for us to lose the tough, so let's see. Uh, only 1, so 3 plus 1 is 4, so we don't take any damage, so the tough stays. And we get an encounter card, and it is uh, cor corrupt program. Uh, treat your mask for uh, upgrade text box as if it were blank, except for keywords. Uh, alter ego action, exhaust your identity, remove corrupted programming from the game. Uh, okay, so I'll just put this over here. So uh, we have the keywords, let's see. So we have the keywords. So I think st uh, the vision scape still works, but I think we have to go to Alter Ego for one turn to get rid of uh, that. But we'll see. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. So we want to play Vivian and we are in intangible form so we can thwart for three, which will help us keep threat at bay when we go to Alter Ego, so we play Vivian and we'll toward for 3 and we'll take 1 consequential damage then uh, I really don't have anything else for me to play and even changing forms won't give me a card, so that is pointless so I'll go to Alter Ego, I'll exhaust to get rid of this, and this is removed from the game, so I'll set it aside, uh, we don't have to deal with that anymore. Then, um, I think, we'll just get rid of the mass increase, we want to get some cards to play with, so we'll ready up. We draw back up to our hand sizes of 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so we get super dense strike, momentum shift, uh, base disruption, perseverance and solar beam. So a pretty high power hitting hand for next turn. We'll go to the villain phase, we add one threat to the main scheme, Sandman schemes for 1, plus 0, so we got lucky there. Then uh, we get an encounter card. It is card of card, discard and upgrade or support to control. So this is why I wanted to play this. So we'll discard the Hickory Prance Lane. 
And that is it. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well, uh, we don't have a lot to do in the Alter Ego. I could heal. Uh, I would heal for three. And... Uh, but I have the momentum shift, so I think I'll heal with that. So I'll just head up to hero mode. We will uh, change forms to dense. That uh, means I will play... Per well, I won't play the Perseverance this round. But we'll draw a card. Another solar beam. So we'll... We could just nuke the Sandman phase 1 now. So I think I'll do that. So uh, we'll use energy and phase disruption to deal seven. Oh yeah, and we cha change this to retaliate again. So we deal seven, five, and. Uh, So, and then, then let's see, I could play it again. So, uh, we, oh yeah, I didn't put the solar beam yet, so I used one. Then, uh, I'll do it like so. I'll save these for next round. I will use this and momentum shift to do super dense strike. So we deal five. Then uh, vision will remove two sand counters. I think that is more important at this point. And. Uh, We don't want to use Vivian yet. We'll just save her for now. So that is all we want to do. We'll keep this hand. We'll throw back up to five. Uh, density control, reboot. One, two, three, four, four. And endurance rate. So uh, let's go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the main scheme. Sandman attacks. I'll take it with vision. And uh, Sandman hits for 3, plus 0 is 0, because we have tough, then we retaliate for 1. And uh, let's see, we get an encounter card. It is Shadows of the Past. Well, uh, Ultron decided to show up, so we get Ultron Drones environment in play, Ultron Unleashed. Uh, no, side scheme, which we really need to get rid of, and we get one drone, and these get shuffled into the encounter deck, so I wish I wouldn't have gotten Ultron so quickly in this game, but it is what it is, and luckily we have an answer for Ultron in our hand with solar, uh, solar beam, so we can just nuke Ultron out. Of course, Ultron has the toughness, but we can just get rid of that first. Okay, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. So let's see how we want to do this. So I could actually he heal um, Vivian to help me out this round. So, I will use density control. Do I have enough resources? Uh, I need three for the solar beam. So, we may, may have to say bye bye some of the cards. And I want to keep the endurance. Well, endurance is not that useful because we don't have it there. I don't let even in play. So, let's not use that. there any way for us to get the extra card? No, because we are in dense form. So, um, yeah, 
Yeah, I think I will do it like so. So we will hit the top off with vision. Then we will solar beam using these cards. Oh no, let's save the perseverance for next round. So solar beaming Ultron for 7 damage, so Ultron is defeated. And uh, then, what do we want to do? I think I'll flip to... Well, that will defeat the drone. Oh yeah, we can just energy barrier the drone, so... I'll flip to intangible, so we can ward for 3, removing this. Vivian is uh, defeated, and we'll change this, so we have the stalwart, so that is all we can do, we keep the perseverance, we ready up and draw back up to 5, we get solar gem, Mon momentum shift, solar beam, reboot, and perseverance, okay. We'll go to the villain phase, uh, we add one threat to the main scheme, so we are Getting dangerously close, but I think we could solar beam and ward for five next round. And Sandman attacks, I can't depend in intangible form. So uh, we'll take five, but I will use one energy uh, barrier charge to get rid of this drone. We'll still take one, so we have to resolve the shifting sands. So three, one, two, three. Luckily we lost the uh, advance, so we won't lose to that. And I think the second advance already went. So we get an encounter card, and it is sand form, so we added that here. So uh, as a reminder, sand form is attached to sandman, forced interrupt. When you would deal any amount of damage to Sandman, discard Sand form instead, result the searching Sand's ability on city streets. So that is not a problem. Mm. Okay, well that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Well, first off, I think we'll play. Let's see if we don't have enough. So we could use these two to play Solar Gem. We'll use those and Perseverance to play Solar Beam, remove 5 threat from here. Actually... Yeah, we, we can't do it any other way. We'll flip to... no, we'll flip to Dense Form. Then uh, we will remove 2 counters from here. And that is our turn, so we ready up, we draw back up to uh, six, uh, 5, we get energy barrier times 2, reboot, clear, and depth focus. We'll go to the villain phase, uh, we add one threat to the main scheme, uh, Sandman attacks, I think I'll have to defend. So 3 plus 1 is 4, uh, we defend for three, uh, 2, we'll use 1 energy here, so we remove this, and we'll do this, and uh, discard 2, then, because we took 1 damage, uh, we do it again, so 3, 1, 2, 3. Then we get an encounter card, and it is uh, friends and family. While in hero form, increase the resource cost of each event you play by one. Alter ego action, discard one identity specific card from your hand, discard this obligation. And that is that round, let's go to the next round. So friends and family uh, makes our events cost more. Luckily I don't have any useful events in my hand at the time. So, I'll use Death Focus and the event I have, Reboot, to play another energy barrier. 
then I will use these two to play a third energy barrier. And I keep Claire in hand for now. And that is basically all we can do, but mm, I think I will go to intangible form so I can lower the damage by five. And then I flip next round, so I get an extra card from the ends. So that's okay, so we draw back up to 5. That is our whole deck, so we get an extra counter card. So we actually managed to beat uh, Cycling our deck versus Sandman, which is always nice, because Sandman churns through his uh, encounter deck so fast. Okay, so... That is enough shuffling, let's see what we draw through. So we got uh, Perseverance, we have uh, Dauntless, Sh uh, Starhawk, Density Control and Clea. Uh, we'll go to the villain phase, we add one threat, Sandman attacks, I can't defend, so... Uh, 3 plus 0, so we'll just... Ignore two of it and use one counter from here. So we'll deal one damage to Sandman and don't take any damage. Then we get two encounter cards. Uh, first one is Common Criminal. Calling in favors. Rhino schemes with plus two scheme. Rhino is not in play, so it's then counter back and discard file for Rhino mini and put it into play. Engage with you. Shuffle. Let's see, I think we discarded Rhino earlier. Well, we didn't. So, Rhino is still here. So, we get Rhino in play, which is <laughs> not nice. Now we need to defeat Rhino somehow. And we don't have any of our big uh, hitting events in hand. I think we'll take a breather soon and go to Alter Ego to heal up and uh, recover and get rid of the common criminal somehow. So, that is the villain phase, let's go to the next hero phase. Uh, I also forgot to ready these resource generators, so... Uh, I have the perseverance... which would cost you, but I, I think I'll still do it. So I'll flip, draw one card, momentum shift, and uh, I will uh, play Perseverance to get the tough. Okay, then I think we'll use Density Control to play. Uh, I'll use it and Dauntless because I'm not even close to my full health, so Dauntless is a dot for now. Well, I... No, no, no that's not true. So I'll use Density, Control and uh, Star... Oh, no. Uh, momentum... Sh no. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a bit uh, hesitant to how I would want to play this round, so... So... Uh, so I think I'll play the Dauntless with Density Control. And I'll use Momentum Shift and Starhawk to play Claire. Claire will ward for one. Then... Uh, we will... Uh, hmm... Yeah. I will go to Alter Ego and have plus two recovery, so I'll recover for five. And that is it, so we need some way to get plus one health, so the Dauntless kicks into play. 
yeah, and we get we have the retaliate. Unfortunately, we have one less hand size for this round. So, well, that is that is what happens. So, we ready up. We draw back up to five. We get. Uh, I have to notch this a bit more over here. We get uh, density control, super dense strike, solar beam, sub to super dense strike. So now at least we have a good way to defeat Rhino. We'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the scheme. Sandman schemes for one plus three is four. Okay, so we're at six. These guys won't scheme. And the encounter card is assault. It gains search. And exhaustion. Exhaust your identity card. Well, yeah, it was re ready, but it's exhausted again. And it searches, so we get Relentless Android. If Ultron Drones is in play, put the top two cards of your deck into play. Face down, engage with you as drone minions. Otherwise, discard two random cards from your hand. So we'll get two cards as drones. That is okay, we have a Retaliate. So the, those will just die on top of that. And, well, that also means we get an acceleration token here. So we really need to get rid of some threat next round. And, uh, yeah. We'll see how that goes, so... Just giving the encounter deck a quick shuffle, and we are ready to go back to hero form, or hero phase, so... That is that round, let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, first off, um, I am not able to play all of these super dense strikes, etc. So, uh, I will use one of the super dense strikes to defeat this guy. Unfortunately, we're not, uh, uh, we don't have a side scheme to remove the three threats from, but we can draw a card. So we draw a card, just passing through, well, mm, this helps us, we have to go to intangible form so we can remove some threat, but that's better than nothing. Okay, um, we'll head back to hero form, I will use Queen Carrier and Solar Gem to play Solar Beam and uh, Density Control also. We'll deal 7 damage to Rhino and Clea will defeat Rhino. Oh yeah, and Clea goes back into my deck after the discard. Then uh, well, okay. Uh, before we went to hero mode, I would have discarded something. So I'm, I'm discarding the super dense strike to get rid of this. I just forgot I have to do that also. Then uh, I will flip to intangible. I will use uh, subdue to play just pass through i remove three threats so we can get the encounter deck in, uh, or the main scheme back into control and uh, that is it so we're ready up we draw back up to five uh, 616 Hickory Brown's Lane, and the Power of Protection, Solar Beam, Vivian, and Death Focus. We'll go to the villain phase, so we add two threat here. Sandman attacks, I won't defend, so. Uh, nothing. Uh, the, well, it's three, so I'm actually using one, two, three. Or, uh, it's not an option, unfortunately. Yeah. Ok, 
Okay. So, um, we just remove the top. And we don't have a retaliate at the moment. This also hit me, but still no damage because I'm intangible. Oh yeah, uh, let's check when you would take any amount of damage. Well, I'm not taking any damage, so that's useless. But we'll have to deal with the drones some other way. Uh, we'll get an encounter card. It is sand form, so we'll put sand form into play. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. Let's see. Well, I'm intangible, so I could again use solar beam to remove the threat, and I will do that. And I have no cards to play with Hickory Brand's lane at the moment, so I'll use or with the power protection. So I'll use solar beam to remove the threat. Then I will go to dense form, I'll draw a card, mass increase, well this is good for uh, next hero phase or villain phase, then we'll play Vivian. And uh, Vivian will wait. We won't, don't want to do anything because the, we have retaliate now, so the drones die to that, and I, I don't want to defeat Sandman quite yet. So we'll actually just exhaust Vivian to remove one from here. We could do that with Vision. We'll do that with Vision instead. Remove two. Yeah. And be ready up. Draw back up to five. Nice, we get uh, momentum shift. So I think I actually want to take one damage so I can pay the momentum shift. Well, I, that, that's a gamble. But we have a reboot, so no, never mind. We can reboot vision. So we'll go to the villain phase. We add two threat to the main scheme. Sandman attacks. Uh, I think I will. I'll defend uh, 3 plus 0 so we use one counter and deal one damage here then we retaliate oh no uh, we deal one damage here so this activates so we solve this and uh, Let's see. Yeah. So that is that. And that was the retaliate. Then this hits me. I'll just uh, deal one here from the first one. And we will put Sandman. Phase 3 in play, uh, place one sand counter on city streets, resolve its searching sand's ability. And nothing else changed. Uh, Sandman has 19 hit points to go, so 1, 2, 3. Then this hits, I will uh, put the damage on to Sandman again, so we'll just place 18 health there. And this dies to retaliate. Okay, and then we get an encounter card. And it is another sand form. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We'll start by playing Reboot on Vision. We heal one damage. So Dauntless is in effect. Then uh, we'll use Mass Increase. No, Momentum Shift and. Uh, Genius. Well, we don't use those yet. We'll hit for two damage. Remove this. Add one here. One, two, 
V4. Then Vivian hits for 3 damage. We'll play Solar Beam with this. Deal 7 damage. Keep the mass increase in hand. Oh no. Uh, yeah, let's keep it in hand. Uh, we ready up. We draw back up to 5. We get clear, subdue, energy, base disruption, and mass increase. So we might be able to defeat Sandman next round, but we'll see. Uh, we'll go to the villain phase. We add a two threat here. Uh, Sandman attacks. I won't actually defend. I will use the Queen. This readies. I'll use the Queen Carrier to play. Uh, sub two. So uh, three plus one is four. I mean, what, 0 plus 1 is 1, so we'll just use one counter of fear and ping 1 damage off of Sandman. Then we retaliate for... We have actually double retaliate uh, from Dauntless and Vision Escape, so we retaliate for 2. Then uh, we'll get an encounter card, and it is Threat or Menace. When revealed, you may change form. If you are in Hero form, place 2 Threat on the main scheme. Uh, if you are in Alter Ego, you cannot change. Well, I'll just place the two because we have... Oh yeah, Vivian has one damage. So we have plenty to defeat Sandman next round. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Uh, we'll play Cleo. Cleo will hit for one. Uh, Vivian will hit for three. Getting defeated. And we'll finish off the game by eating or uh, two damage. And that's game. Well, um, that went pretty well. Uh, Sandban. Couldn't get that much damage through, so the city streets didn't activate that many times, which slowed Sandman down quite a bit. Uh, the deck performed pretty good. I again have to say that Energy Barrier is one of my favorite <laughs> protection cards of all time, and it is really useful in this deck. Also, um, Dauntless is a bit uh, hard to uh, get working, but with this deck, I think. If you get Dauntless down in, in the first pass of the deck really fast, that's game over for the villain, maybe. If you also get to get your defenses up so you don't take any damage. But uh, that was Vision uh, Protection and against Sandman on Expert Difficulty. Thanks for watching and until next time.